Welcome back to the August 2nd, 2020 edition of Pro Wrestling Throwdown. I'm Caleb Black. This is Luke the Big Dog Williams. And returning from his skydiving incident in the UK, the mighty Max Fury is back in the house. Max, how'd you like the plane? It was a little scary. Yeah? Yeah, I, I, uh... How did you get past the weight requirement? Did you dick need a I different to, parachute? I had, I had to stow the stuff a lot of shit in my pockets to be able, be able to get my weight up. Well, you, and I, you and I both know you don't have any more room in your pockets. Was, was, the, uh, was the other half of Max Fury considered carry-on? <laughs> <laughs> Ever see a three-legged man go skydiving? Well, there, there, there was an incident, though, with... with Ever had a uh, cigarette put out on your neck? Come on! <laughs> It, 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 did, it did get a little rocky a couple times. I I, I thought the plane was going down. I bet you did. <laughs> That's not the only thing that went down. All right, guys. Hey -oh! It's time for armchair booking. Uh, this segment, we pick a... Uh, we, we pick a scenario, it could have been something that already happened, something that hasn't happened yet, something we'd like to see happen, and we run with it. Since we already talked about the draft in our top five for the draft picks, we're going to talk about the Rumble. As it is, they're already picking out a place to come up in conversation, so we are going to fantasy armchair book the winner of the 2021 Royal Rumble. Luke, why don't you start us off? No! Max, since you haven't been at work in three weeks, why don't you start us off? Randy Orton. All right, so you're going to put Randy Orton... Oh, hold on now. <laughs> this is contingent on Randy Orton not being the champion going into the Royal Rumble? Because if he beats McIntyre at SummerSlam, chances are he'll be champ going into well, the Royal Rumble. I just shouted that out because I just figured it would be As far as breaking edge... He shouts out Randy Orton's name a lot. Randy, Randy, Randy. Randy. <laughs> Randy, Randy, Randy. Um, yeah, 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 he can yeah. probably... <laughs> Well, if it, it not not Randy Orton, that would mean that he'd beat Drew McIntyre, so I go with Drew McIntyre. All right, so McIntyre wins the Rumble for a second second year in a row. Goes on to WrestleMania yeah, to wrestle which champion? Would he go on to wrestle whoever the Randy Orton we assume, or would you have put him on SmackDown against uh, Braun Strowman or or maybe the Fiend at that point? Probably take. I, I think he'd probably take a different direction yeah. uh, than Randy Orton again. Uh, go to SmackDown. Yeah. Or well, hell, he could, well, he wouldn't go back to NXT, but that'd be an interesting pick. That's something we haven't seen yet, a Royal Rumble winner deciding to win and go to NXT and challenge. Well, they're in Charlotte this year. Yeah. Interesting. They are in Charlotte. I'd like to be in Charlotte. No, no, no. I mean, Charlotte won. Yeah, well, yeah. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's right. Well, Charlotte did. Yeah, Charlotte challenged the NXT. Pick. And at Mania. But it hasn't happened for a man yet. So I'm no, no. All right, Luke, how about you? It hasn't happened for this man yet, either. <laughs> no matter how many times I try to answer your phone. Your emails. So stop calling her. We, that's what the lawyer told you last week. I don't care what he says. <laughs> Quiet, you. <laughs> no, um, uh, Rumble winner. Well, assuming the Edge is back in time, I would say Edge just because I think Randy Orton will be champion by then. I think that's I think that's a pretty obvious one. Yeah. But uh, if the, it's not one hundred percent and he's not back by the Rumble. I'm going to guess that a SmackDown star is going to win the world. I think I know who you're thinking. Do you? I it think so. might be a good call, given that they pulled him in for the last time, and then he just got thrown out. Well, right? see, I think that, but, but it all depends on how, if that tricep is right. going to be ready by yeah. January. And whether or not Randy Orton breaks his neck again. True. Done talking to him. <laughs> uh, don't even acknowledge that. <laughs> now, anyway, quiet. Yeah. <laughs> no, uh, no I, I think SmackDown... Uh, but I'm going a little differently. Sure. I think by then the Fiend will probably be champion. Okay. Uh, if I was a betting person. Sure. I'm going to go out on a limb and say that I don't believe that it's over. Okay. And I'm going to say that the Undertaker comes in at 30 and wins and challenges the Fiend for the title. Oh man. Well, I realize we remember were, this day. I realize we were booking fantasy scenarios, but that even for me is a Taker he's fan. He's not done. It's going to be Sting. I don't believe he's done. He's not done. Flex Luger. Um, Until he passes the torch to somebody, he can't be done. That's He's so business. Taker is so business. You're supposed to go out on your back. I mean, he That's did. How it's supposed, no, he didn't. No, he, he didn't. Beat he beat AJ. AJ, yeah. Huh. It can't be over yet. Now, the only other scenario I could see would maybe him chat... Wrestle Orton at Survivor Series and Orton punt kick him in the head, and that's the last you see of the Undertaker. I could see that. But that what I'm saying is, Rumble go and wrestle the Fiend. He's the the next big Phenom character you have. But would you would you give Pass that that would you I, I don't want to say waste, 
But would you give that Rumble win to Taker? Yes. Okay. One because last... how uh, how else would you get him there? Because I believe Fiend will be champion. I mean, unless unless you could work it another way where the Fiend eliminated. I just, I mean, it's your, it's your, it's your, hey, look, man, this is your show. Well, here's the deal. It's your show. The Fiend That's should have went over this year, but he wasn't in the Rumble. He True. was a champion. Yeah. Therefore, you have the, the stamp of approval. You put him on there. He's the one guy everyone on the roster fears. Yeah. Other than the Undertaker. That's a fair point. Undertaker fears nobody. That's a fair point. Undertaker goes to Mania, loses. Doesn't have to be spectacular because they're going to tell the story with their characters in the build-up anyway. Yeah. I, I can see that. Taker gets to hand it off to the guy that he has basically single-handedly helped with the gimmick. Yeah. All the way up. Fuck yeah, man. Put your tape of proof on him and boom, you're off to the races. I get it. I like you it. You have Kane come in and mess with him on the way yeah. to Mania. It'd be great. Sting. Yeah. I'm, I'd be down for I mean, I'm always down for a, for a, for a last-minute Taker run. So. Oh, yeah. Uh, my pick is going to be... Obviously, I mean, I think the obvious choice is Orton wins at SummerSlam, Edge wins a Rumble, they go on to Wrestle, uh, WrestleMania. I think but like I said, we, with the but injury... if that one's not happening, I'm thinking AJ Styles. Doesn't have a Rumble win yet. Goes on, wins the Rumble, probably drops the Intercontinental title halfway up the road, and then challenges for the SmackDown Heavyweight Championship. Becomes SmackDown Champion again. The house that AJ Styles built. Not to mention, again, the defining factor for that is he doesn't have a Rumble win. No. And if it's not that, it's got to be an NXT superstar. You know, someone like a, uh, I, I, obviously I'd love to say Finn Balor, but it could be Adam Cole wins the Rumble, uses that to go Honestly, on to challenge I don't, Raw. I don't think Finn Balor will come back. No, I think that, I think that well, no, Finn Balor could win the Rumble and, 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 and go on to challenge for the NXT title. Yeah, but that'll never make it at Mania. Never know. No. So, real quick before we get off of here. Not until Vince is gone. Yeah, yeah, wait, not until Vince is gone. But yeah, I'm thinking I'm thinking AJ Styles is my pick. That's a good pick, man. I would like to see AJ and, uh, and who? Who would be champion? Uh, probably The Fiend at that point. I kind of figured myself. Uh, have, have AJ beat him. Because, you know, and maybe use uh, maybe use the fact that he lost the Taker to help set it up somehow. I didn't fear The Undertaker. Ever I don't, yeah, I'm not, I didn't. I wasn't afraid of the dead man. I'm not afraid of The Fiend. Uh, some good shit could. Uh, good shit. Good shit. Uh, real quick, what about the women's rumble? Shit, I didn't even think of this. Yeah. Rumble. Maximus, women's rumble. Nikki Cross. Nikki, Nikki Cross. Cross goes on to uh, challenge for the SmackDown women's title. Okay, I can see that. That's a, that's a good. That's a good pick. Nikki Cross. Oh, Nikki Cross is your pick as well. Builder. Yeah. Yeah, no, you I got her on that losing in now. Yeah. Best way to do it is win the Rumble Triumph at Mania. I like what he was thinking. I think Sasha Banks loses the Raw Women's title. She wins the Rumble and challenges Bailey at Mania. Uh, did you hear that? He said Nikki Cross, too. <laughs> That's what I heard. That's what I heard. <laughs> well played. What do you guys think about our fantasy setup for the Rumble? Who do I you think, think Nikki Cross. Who do you think is going to be your winner? So do you. Hand or now, if you're here, I believe it's going to be Nikki Cross. <laughs> Don't anger him. He's too close. Yeah, we've seen it. We've seen it. Uh, let us know in the comments down below. Send us an email at prowrestlingthrowdown at gmail.com. Find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash prowrestlingthrowdown. And stay tuned. Okay, hush you. Charlotte. For the wreck of the week. Just saying. It's coming up right now. We can do that. Don't hit the button. We 